Hey guys, it's Minister Q, and um, I uh, hope that you guys are blessed today. I just got off of work and just kind of just chilling out, but I just really hope that you guys are getting it together, you know, inside of your mind and your relationships with the Lord. For anyone who's speaking messages on YouTube, it's not about the message, really. Then again, it is, but what I mean by, I'm talking about like the ultimate message. And what I mean by ultimate message is, you know, what are you doing to prepare yourself? You know, I don't really talk about it a lot because, you know, there's so many videos that many people, whoever is saying, stock your food, whoever is saying, protect yourself, whoever is saying, get covered in the blood of Jesus. The Lord has been speaking to me about the kind of things to pray about when it comes to uh, certain scriptures and how to be hidden inside of the Lord. What to do in times of pandemics. But, you know, there's two dreams that, you know, I want to reiterate, you know, to you. Uh, I remember just people just dying real fast, you know, I had this dream years ago and I was freaking out because everybody around me was dying and dropping so fast. And what was on the earth was so bad that people were in boats and trying to stay in the water away from the land because the land was so messed up with people just dead to your left and to your right all on the ground. Um, you know, dreams of going underground and, you know, survival that way. And also, um, having a dream of God saying he was trying to keep me alive. Why, you know, what am I worried about? Even though people was like, you know, sick. And then, um, I saw a second, you know, a uh, wave and it, like I said, the tornado and it was coming so fast. It was something that was coming quick. It was a big tornado and you could see the news and everybody was just running and chaotic. It was, it was chaotic, meaning the towns, the neighbors, everybody was in the streets and running, trying to figure out what the heck was going on. And, uh, of course, when people are dying rapidly, hospitals are not going to be able to take these people you know, things are going to be going rapidly and going fast. And um, what do you think is going to happen? You still got people, like I said, with animosity towards one another. You still got people who are just still tripping. You still got people who are still within themselves. And uh, it's going to be a lot of people dead. And it's going to be a lot of people who are going to find out too late, you know, they think they got a good with God. But I can tell you the first people that will go, people who are unforgiving will not be covered under the blood of Jesus Christ the right way. You may mess around and get real sick. You may mess around and pass away. God is all about people who are covered in him and praying and doing what, uh, you know, they need to do. It's crunch time. And crunch time is killing off a lot of people that God, even God wants killed off. But you got to get yourself together out right here. You got to make sure that your your ducks in a row is right with God. You know, why would God tell you to get right with him? You know, wouldn't he just protect all the Christian people all together? If he's saying pray and get yourself protected, hide in me, then that means that if we're not covered correctly in the Lord and in the spirit, you could very well pass away. And it's, it's the, the approval of God, not man and what man thinks about you. But I can tell you what would happen. The people in Christ who are looking down on the ones who think that they ain't got it all together and the ones who are judging people a lot, those are the people that's going to be surviving. The people who think they got it together want to justify everything and judge people is going to be the one that's passing away. And that's just what it's going to be and that's just how it is. I've seen it always happens all the time. I was a person that people persecuted when I was young in church and they would, they thought and when I, they was judging me to be the first person who would like least likely to make it in the church. And here it is, God raising me up. And then the people that I was in awe of and I was so starstruck of, I'm hearing that they back in the world and it's just crazy. So everybody just got to mind their own business to each their own and, um, and get in the presence of God and worship God. You guys, you guys.